We all know I'm not a fan of everything going on at the border. We all know I'm not a fan of hypocritical jackasses. Obviously. I don't think any of us are, but... <clears throat> it's amazing all the shit we've all eaten for years now, saying that we're all just... We have no compassion. We're all racist and bigots and this, that, and the other fucking thing. And... Which can be farther from the truth for most of us. And... <clears throat> All because we want them to do legal migration. Like, it's the funniest goddamn thing. All the people that said we weren't compassionate, this, that, and the other, are now freaking out, putting states of emergency, human health emergencies, all asking for all kinds of federal funding. AOC wants the tent city out of her district, because apparently, you know, she's all about it, until they put it in her backyard. And fun fact, how many times has she been down there when numbers are astronomical compared to where they were before when she was down there crying, holding onto the fence, acting like a jackass. Let's all do the math on that one, too, Cupcake. Not very good. And it's amazing. You know, the Bowsers, Eric Adams, AOC, Lori Lightfoot. It's amazing how much shit they talked about. Every single one of us, and now everything they're doing. And the best part about it, here's the fact that apparently none of these people seem to understand. Or anyone that supports them, because, you know, they're all just, I don't know. They yell at me and just say all kinds of things, and everyone else. Here's a fun fact. If you call, you know, Greg Abbott... And the governor of Arizona and them, human traffickers, right? For sending people to New York City and all this on buses and stuff, and they don't have the resources. One, how the fuck do you think people that are in those small border towns down there, how do you think they have the resources when they've been dealing with this by the hundreds of thousands every month? We're almost two years now. You know, catastrophic numbers. And, you know, and you told them they had to deal with it. Well, you didn't care then until they came to your backyard. Two, calling them human traffickers as they're moving them. No more than the Biden administration proven they're flying people in the middle of the night to places like Florida without telling anyone. But that's okay. And the real big one, how the fuck do you think they're getting through all those shit-ridden countries? Follow along. How the fuck do you think they're getting out of there and through all that cartel country without being trafficked and worse? Their whole fucking time there until they get there to pay them off. Like they're not moving that many people through their... In countries that the cartel runs. Without being trafficked and all that other shit that's happening there. But you don't give a damn about that. You're not telling them, go to the embassy in the first country you cross through, do all the paperwork and wait. So they can, you know, maybe find a better way to get here than being trafficked and fucked with all the way up through there. No, or just keep on coming. But the second you put it in anyone else's backyard and makes them deal with what everyone else has been, we're all racist, you know, human trafficking assholes. Like... I, the level of hypocrisy and stupidity and so many people, leadership and the people that follow them fucking hurts.